Welcome to the beach show and the name of the show is called Going to a, wa- a Waterfall and Mises, um Layout. I don't really know what the name of this episode's gonna be, but anyway, that's the name of the beach show that I think right now. So right now, uh, this beach show is gonna be about us being on a hike. It's a new nature beach show, which we haven't done in a long time, so I thought we should make a new nature beach show, which we're going on a hike in. Yeah, so far, yeah. it's good. Oh yeah, um, at the end we're going to eat MREs, which is... So you have to stand for No, I actually don't. Meals ready to eat. MRE. Yeah. Um, it's like military food that lasts forever, people say, so... Yeah, let's see if it's going to be great. I've had MREs before, but I don't remember what they taste like really because it's been a while. So, yeah, I'm going to, you know, we're going to eat our MREs and it's going to be good. Okay, kids. Well, there's a glimmery waterfall here. And I think there's maybe some frogs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's frogs, but although we saw a sign when we when you guys, when we were filming, so, and it said that there were salmon, and the back over there, we saw like a big pond where this river over here went to, so we thought it had salmon in it, so I wonder if salmon travel down here into the little pond that we saw over there. Yeah, could be. There's yeah. The, it was on the sign, wasn't it, e? Yeah. Wow. Okay. We're in crawdad territory. Yep, kids. Is like as you might know, then like way back then when we made the beach and we found the crawdads in Twin Pond. Uh huh. Um, the crawdads in here look very familiar. It, it seems like a lot of crawdads would just zoom through. Like, it, like last time when we caught them, Papa said that crawdads love fast water, and this is very fast. And it just looks like a crawdad might be in there, so yeah, I would, I would say there's probably at least one crawdad, crawdad in there. Okay, we found something. Uh, we don't know what it is. We can't tell if it's fungus or, or ice snow. or snow or what. Yeah, I like wonder it. what that is because to me it looks like fungus. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Oh, touch it. Mm. If it's fungus, then I don't want to touch it. <laughs> it's like a snow. Snow? It's like ice. But then why does it look like fungus? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's snow. That's 100% snow. snow. <laughs> I don't know why, but Papa, he thinks he... Uh, he thinks that goats are kind of be around here. Yeah, and I sure. agree. I, I, I think we should keep our, an eye out for goats, frogs, turtles, creatures, and crawdads like we saw. But right now we're heading to Red Town, which is farther in this path. But yeah, Papa just thought he would see 10,000 goats here. So yeah. He's walking across the steamy moss mountain log. Let's watch him go. What? Drop the log. Log. Yeah, kids, that's you can see. It's a very steamy muff mountain. Yeah, that's why I called it Steamy Muff Mountain. Because it's steamy. Don't you agree, Papa? Oh, yeah. That'd be a fitting, na- fitting name. Oh, steamy yeah. Steamy Muff Mountain. Oh, yeah. Right, kids? Ugh. Don't you agree as well? Yes, you probably do. I think if Pappy Toto were here, he would say that he would be searching for pigeon milk all day long but 
Right now we just took off the trail and now we're in this little cubby adventure thing. Right, Papa? Yeah, we're in the um, Milton's Muck. Yeah, Milton's Muck. Let's see if we can go through here. Oh, I think I see a spider web. Never mind, let's turn back around, kids. <laughs> <laughs> run for your lives. Run, 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 the goats like Papa said but you know lower chance than crawdads here but if a goat was here then that would be cool yeah let's still keep an eye out for goats right Papa oh yeah I yeah you do huh well then go track them down like a dog okay kids okay Papa okay okay well kids this is the magical tree stump with a tree going on the tree stump. <laughs> the magical explorers. These can be very difficult to find. Only in Seattle you can find them. Especially on hikes where you go to a waterfall. So, yes. Here's the magical tree. <laughs> the staircase to heaven. What? <laughs> Speaking of goats, Papa feels like he's a goat. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a goat. We just crossed this bridge with our goat legs, and now we're climbing up this goat mountain. Yeah, and Papa is a goat, as you heard that noise that he made. Uh -huh. Yeah, Papa's a goat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey kids, well, the rules are... Oh, wait, hold on. So, now because we've basically made halfway in our hike, we're gonna do um, a round of hide and seek. And when I mean a round, I mean that first, Papa's gonna hide and I'll find. And then, um, uh, I'm gonna hide and Papa will find. And, um, and we're gonna hide here. And uh, this is gonna be pretty short. But it's just, we're gonna take a little break from hiking and do a little bit of hide and seek, okay? You're not counting though. can't find me and I'm gonna go behind this big tree okay so yeah oh my Well, we both found ourselves pretty fast. Although, yeah, it's a good break for, you know, the hiking. Yeah, so let's see you later until you find the next friend or whatever else happens. Okay, kids? Bye! Time for the first lesson of the day. Papa's gonna read out loud a small little story that the hike gives us. And yeah, you guys can listen. It's gonna be very short, though. Stumps are the past and future of this forest. Um, okay, so look there. That looks like the stump we saw that had a tree growing out of it. So look closely at all the stumps here. Do you see the rectangular notches cut into them? Those are a record of the past called springboard notches, a sign that tells us the tree was cut by humans. Lumberjacks could 
get above the wide base of a tree by cutting that notch out like that. Mm -hmm. um, and inserting a thick board to stand on. So they'd stand, see that be? Whoa. Our kids. Okay, so they'd stand there like scaffolding. Once the logs were hauled away, the stumps were left like gravestones to the trees of the fallen forest. Well, that sounds, well, we needed the trees. Building America, right, B? Yep. And then here's what happens. The stumps give seedlings a boost. So that's why when a little seed gets on the stump, it probably gets a boost of growing because it gets all those roots from the tree that, that had gotten cut down. And then it gives it more sunshine because it's up higher and it gets extra sun and moisture makes it easier for new seedlings. So that's why we keep seeing these trees with little um, trees growing out of the top. Mm -hmm. Well, basically like right there, look at that. Oh my gosh. So that's a tree growing out of a stump. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. There's another one. Well, that's not necessarily that. That's actually, well, it is. Yeah, that is. Huh. I, I didn't think that. Huh. And then it's growing that tree. It's doing good, right, B? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you never know what you're going to learn. That's the first lesson, and it's done. I bet there's going to be a second lesson a little further in the beach, though, but I'm not sure because, you know, I can't travel back in time and see if there's going to be one. So, uh, I mean, in the future. Anyway, yeah, this lesson's done. <laughs> it seems that we have. <laughs> Kids. What? Papa Bear. <laughs> oh, I thought that was. I didn't know. Okay. What is Papa this? Papa probably thought it was a goat. I thought it was. Anyway, we find another tree growing on a stump, and this one has super long roots. Mm -hmm. Look at this root. It's such a nice. Soft, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Uh. Well, about time to chop that down, don't you think, B? Yep. <laughs> no, it's not big enough. <laughs> you could probably make a, you know, one board out of that, maybe two. Yeah. You need a little more juice. Juice to it. Okay. Well, Red Town is one. Oh, wait a minute. We almost went the wrong way. That's the Primrose Trail Loop. Red Town is this way, 1.6 miles. Oh. Okay. Would you look at that? It's a good thing. Okay. Go. Well, kids. <clears throat> oh, you're so close. I'm looking at the top of Mount, Mount Pissman. Um, huh? <laughs> Mount, uh, what was it? Milk Puff? Mount oh. Milk Muff. I forget. Mount Milk Muff. <laughs> We're almost here at Mount the Milk Muff. And yes, this is the amazing Mount Milk Muff. We're on the it top. is the most, yes, this is the top of Mount Milk Muff. And it has wonderful creatures, which we think this crawdad salmon. And even trees growing on tree stumps. This is the African savanna in Seattle on the mountain. Yes, we're gonna go up. <laughs> yeah, good kids. <laughs> I hear. I think it's a. I think it's a dingo bird. Uh -oh. Yeah, I heard it a little while ago before we started filming. But also, depending on the fabulous dingle um dingle bird which is in southern africa is over here but this is also um kids this is also goat territory uh -huh. don't you think it's like be. it you know the reason why it's goat territory no because papa is a goat <laughs> he is a goat <laughs> okay we got kids coming Oh, it's in the winter wonderland. Yeah, uh, we're actually not in the winter wonderland. Look on that side. Summer. Yeah, that's summer, winter. winter. <laughs> Although, look what we found. We found these like leaves that have ice on it. Like, isn't that cool? And the kids, um, back over there, there's like frozen mud. And it, was, it looked like glass and sounded like glass when you threw it, but it was really just ice, like fresh ice. That was like really cool, it literally. But then Papa threw it on the ground. Well, so then I decided to throw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. You crack ice. You crack ice. It's the fun part to hear it. Oh, it looks somebody carved something in this tree. What does it say? Yeah. It's a secret code. Okay. Remember from the first um, reading lesson of the day? Yeah. Remember how it said that um, they carve these in the trees to know that they were, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's okay. 
Okay, kids, it's now time for the second reading lesson of the day. Um, so, yeah, of course, the rules we did last, last time where we heard about the marks in the tree stumps, that um, trees grow on the tree stumps, and now we remember the rules, Papa's going to read it, and you guys are going to have your first lesson um, of, I mean, your second lesson of the day. <laughs> yeah, kids, so let's see Papa read. So, plant life. Fueled a farm. Okay, so what, this is a sign that's out here telling us about what was here. Coal Creek Canyon is filled with resources, dead and alive. Deep underground layers of coal and clay lie under your feet. And there's an airplane in the sky, so that's interesting. Uh, basically, it's just talking about, um, you know, wildlife and, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, cleared land became a pasture. Well, just look at the picture, kids. There's cows. Looks like apparently there's a farm here at one point, and uh, you know, there was mining going on here. Yeah, kids. And, and also, just the second, third lesson of the day, Papa's a cow goat. <laughs> Alright kids, so we were walking along, and we saw this tree that had fallen across this, um, above the trail here. And, and, and I think what happened is the cow goats um, Papa's family, the cow goats, they knocked <laughs> over a tree and they made a bridge for raccoons, squirrels, and onions to walk across. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids, onions, raccoons, and squirrels, they walk across this bridge. <laughs> okay, kids, well, guess what? Second, um, my fourth lesson of the day is that um, King Tomato um, had the King Freeze Wand and it made this entire little lake become frozen. Look at this. Ice. Yeah. Oh. Ice. Uh oh. See? Oh boy. I stepped in it and to try and figure it out until Papa said that we should probably get a stick. Okay, kids, well, now we're gonna eat our MRE by the river and it's. Um, Pepper, it's pepperoni pizza MRE, which is really cool, kids. If you don't know what MRE is, we explained it a little um, farther in the beginning of the episode, but an MRE is a meal ready to eat, and it, and it's like a military food that lasts. What's this thing? Warfighter recommended. Warfighter tasted. Warfighter approved. Anyway, um, it's like a it's like a military uh, meal. So if you're in the military, you could eat this, eat this, and didn't you say that it lasted for um, 15 years, Papa? Yeah, I think. That's, that's by, but, uh, 2023, 2018. Right, I, yeah. So, okay, let's break it open. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, what do we got first? We got the cherry blueberry cobbler. Which is here, and it comes with a towel. And then, that's it. That is, let's see. This is the pepperoni, uh, the pepperoni pizza. Wow. Here. Okay. So here looks like coffee. Hold on. Uh, let gum. Me, let's see. Oh, a little bar of soap. These. Mm, let's see. So this is just to have some fun equipment stuff in here. Not okay. So it has. Uh, let's see. This is, it has a salt, salt, salt. gum, <laughs> and let's see, what's this? Moist, uh, oh, it's a towel. It's uh, like a, it's like one of those wipey towel things. Sugar, I think, yes, this is sugar. What's this? Mm. Coffee. Coffee, wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Creamer. Creamer and stuff like that, okay. What's this? Matches. Match, okay, wow. And uh, oh. soap. Let me see. Oh, that's to make a fire. Oh. That's like a little um, paper to make a fire with. Okay. Okay. What's that? Let's see. What's this? Oh, 
What is this? Chocolate chip cookie. Oh, chocolate chip cookie. Wow. <laughs> Cheese spread with jalapenos. Jalapenos. Okay. Italian breadsticks. Oh, Italian breadsticks. And this is chocolate protein drink powder. Spoon. Um. Oh. B. This is so you can make um, you can make your hot water to make your coffee. Oh. Ah, that's cool. So Papa was worried that if there was coffee in the MRE, he wouldn't be able to get, get it because he didn't have something to heat it with, but there you go. <laughs> hot water bag, okay. And then also, okay. use the cooker. It, it's, yeah. it's hot right now. Is it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, pretty oh, hot. Weird. <laughs> okay, let's get doing it. Woo! Okay, so we got the pizza in there. Uh, we got the coffee in there. And we're letting it sit on the rock. And it says about 10 minutes. We should start seeing it. I don't oil. think you're supposed to put two things in there. Uh, I think well, you you're can, only supposed to put one. You can put a couple things. Remember really? the guy put the cobbler in there. I don't even know if we need to heat that. I mean, we could try to like see if this cooks. Let that cook and then take it out and then put the cobbler in and let it get the last bit of heat. If it's still got any left. So yeah, eat by a waterfall. Yeah, we're sitting by a waterfall and we're eating the... MRE, but you know what? Oh, I see the smoke. Oh, but kids, you know what? Something else is that, guess who invented the MRE? <laughs> the, the goat cow man. Papa's related to the goat cow man, although he's a goat cow. But the goat cow man invented an MRE because they had nowhere to eat food. That's one of um, must the fifth lesson of the day, or maybe six. I don't know. <laughs> but see, there's literally smoke. They're really good. Yeah. They, they literally taste like a breadstick, kid. Kids. Mm. It has a lot of spice. Mm. It's still cooking now. Yeah. Our main dish. The pizza. Yeah, but these breadsticks you don't have to cook. They're just in a bag. Mm. Okay, now we're shaking up the uh, protein, chocolate protein drink. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like cold chocolate, yeah. chocolate milk. And because we just finished our breadstick meal and while we're waiting for the um, for the pizza and like the cobbler and it, you know, all that good stuff, we're shaking up this because it says to shake it for one minute and it'll turn into like a protein powder drink. So yeah. Well, kids, you haven't actually seen my protein drink, drink yet. It basically tastes like brownie mix. If you ever made brownie and you tasted the mix, it tastes like that and it's pretty good. Yeah. But then now the pepperoni pizza is just is done. Okay, so, take a bite. Yeah. What's it taste like? Like a pizza? Kinda. <laughs> Oh yeah, that okay. does taste like a pizza. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. And there's my bag of coffee. It's not super hot though for some reason. And then we got the cobbler in there cooking a little. We finished our MRE and started to move. And we found another um, tree on a tree stump uh, that we didn't see earlier in this video. Like, we just passed the um, reading, the lesson one papa reading. We just passed that and now we're here and I guess we just didn't notice this. Unless kids you remember that we did find this. I just didn't I didn't I don't remember that we saw this one going on this one, so I just wanted to show it. Cool. 